Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to all my baddies, my daddies, all day. Today I'm super, super excited because I am filming a video about something I'm super passionate about. I have been obsessed for forever. It is my fragrance collection. This is something I take so much pride in. I pride myself on smelling good. I'm so big on like hygiene. You're only gonna look as good as you smell, honey, because you can be a baddie and if you do not smell good, you need to return to center. And same for men. Don't nobody want no messy, dusty little boy, okay? I don't even think I could date a man who doesn't wear cologne. Period. But anyway, I have organized my collection in order from my most affordable scents to my more high-end expensive fragrances. And we're not gonna waste any time. Let's just get straight to it. We're gonna start off with one of my all-time favorites. This is called Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> this is called Turquatic and it is by MAC. Yes, MAC, the makeup company. They sell perfume. Get over it. This was my go-to scent all throughout college. I have had probably 10 bottles of this thing. Literally, two of my old empty bottles. I have a travel size, like, <laughs> I don't play. I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. Quick little backstory. When I was in college, I worked at Hooters. I used to wear this all the time in college, hence my, you know, 10th bottle. I walked past the table that I wasn't even serving, so this is literally just like passing by, not even stopping, hovering over their table, nothing. And this guy stopped me and was like, what are you wearing? That smells amazing. Like, I wrote everything down for him, and he's like, thank you so much. Like, you just found my wife's Christmas present. Cause this is a, I don't know, they got some pheromones in here or something cause men just like gravitate towards you when you have this on. It's chef's kiss. <laughs> it just smells so clean and fresh. Like Turquatic is the perfect name for it because it has aquatic in the name, which is what it really reminds me of. It reminds me of like water, clean, fresh, beachy kind of scent. This one is in the fragrance family of fresh woody floral. This does not smell like flowers, but when you start to understand how the compounds that make up different um, scents work, you'll understand how like something can be floral and like not smell like flowers at all. The notes in this are anemone, lotus, orris, and Corsican blue cedar. So those are the elements that make up this beautiful scent. This retails for $60, which is very affordable for a really good perfume. If you know anything about good perfumes they cost money honey they're not cheap okay this is a very very good affordable perfume that is gonna have people asking you what the fuck is that so on to the next one it is another one also by mac mac had a collection that they did that basically matched a fragrance to a few of their um lip colors so this one is called candy yum yum and yes it is very much like its name it smells candyish and yummyish. The best way to describe this, I would say, rather than like smelling good, it smells delicious. It makes you smell edible. Ugh, it's just like, it's so sweet, but still grown and sexy. Cause a lot of stuff smells like sweet, but it just smells too much like candy, too childish, like smelling like sweet pea or something. No, that's not this. Ugh, I just, I can't even describe it. like. I would say this is the perfect scent for like a sugar baby, like 21 to 24, you know, getting spoiled by somebody's rich daddy. Like this is what, this is what she would smell like. This is a fruity floral gourmand. That is its fragrance family. And the key note in this fragrance is pink, exotic pink guava. So that in itself should kind of tell you like how this smells kind of exotic pink guava. Where are you find it at? It's described as a flirty fragrance with electric fruits and exotic pink guava at the heart. So, beautiful fragrance. It's the same price as the Turquatic. It is also $60, so a very good bang for your buck. This next one is another fave of mine. It is by the brand Clean, which says all you need to know. They have a number of scents by Clean that, um, 
smell very clean. They focus a lot of their scents on not smelling perfumey. So if you're a person who wants to smell good but you don't like the intensity of perfumes, I would say get something by Clean because although this one is called Warm Cotton, and I'm out of it as you can see because <laughs> I love it so much. Um, this is Warm Cotton but I would also suggest Skin by Clean. That one smells amazing. It smells literally just like effortless. Like you just smell good effortlessly. I think that they described the Skin one as you know genuinely just being clean like you just took a shower and this is how your skin smells now this warm cotton oh boy oh it literally oh my god it just gives me chills it literally smells like fresh laundry like it's just it's so clean like when you spray this on you you literally just smell like all your clothes just came straight out of the dryer this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle I don't know if I mentioned that the two Mac ones are both 1.7 fluid ounces so this bottle is $93 but it's very worth it I wonder if this one's a toilet or a parfum this one is an eau de parfum I'll explain the difference to you guys well I guess I could just run through it right now so it goes in order of eau de toilette eau de parfum and parfum a toilette is a lighter version you can have one scent in all three of those categories they can have it in a eau de toilette eau de parfum and a parfum and it'll all be the same scent and you're like what's the difference so the toilette is literally the lighter version it's all about the intensity so a parfum is going to be the strongest most intense longest wearing of that scent the eau de parfum is going to be a little less intense the toilette is probably going to wear off a lot quickly and it also has um, a much lighter smell in general from initial contact. It's gonna smell different than the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum. So this is an Eau de Parfum, it's right in the middle. It's fragrance family is fresh citrus and fruits. So again, about those elements that make up the things like this does not smell fruity at all. It is not citrusy at all. It is just straight fresh, but those are the elements that make it up and that's the fragrance family that it's categorized in. Its key notes are bergamot, benzoin, and musk. I personally love musk in a perfume, in anything. I just love musk. I don't even know exactly what it smells like by itself, but I just know whenever musk is in something, I almost always love it. I feel like it gives it a good balance from smelling like, of course I want to smell feminine, but I feel like musk has a more masculine tone to it, and it kind of settles very well when it's balanced with like, a floor because I don't like flowery smelling stuff I do not want to smell like a bouquet of roses I'm sorry that stinks so whenever there's like a floral scent and it's balanced with musk it has it just meshes very well in my opinion and um, I think that they are like known for being super super organic and like eco-friendly and this top you can see is made of like some type of wood um, so yeah very good environmentally friendly company I love them all right now we move into the big boys <laughs> okay so first we're gonna start with this is literally I'm just gonna say it right now this is my favorite out of the entire collection out of all of the stuff that costs more that costs less like I love this scent period this is YSL Libre it is a 1.7 fluid ounce and this costs $106 for this size. They do have a smaller size that's a bit cheaper and a bigger size that's a bit more expensive. This is my second bottle. Um, I also have the travel size because I can't travel without this scent. It just smells so good. Oh God. It's another one of those super clean ones, but still sexy still grown like you wear this you can wear this to the club and I mean this is really this is definitely more of a daytime scent because it is very soft but I don't know how to explain it it's just like soft but it's like punch at the same time it's just like I'm here you smell me you see me this is in the fragrance family of warm florals and its keynotes are lavender essence orange blossom and musk accord Told y'all about that musk, baby. Smells great. Love it. God, I want some of this on right now. So next we are going to talk about Chanel Chance. This is the Moutandre. I don't really know how you say that. This one is an eau de toilette. 
and I purposely chose the toilet over the perfume. Um, I actually find that a lot of people agree with me on this, that the toilet just smells better than the um, Eau de Parfum. It, it literally has a different scent, like it just smells different, but this is super light and airy. This is definitely mm, so good. It's so feminine, so girly, like super, super girly. Um, I would say this is perfect for just like brunch with your girls like you know when you're not you don't want to bring out your your absolute best because you want your man to smell your absolute you know what I'm um but this is one i feel like is perfect for like a girl's day out or somewhere where you're not going to be super active because like i said toilets do not last on you as long as eau de perfumes but this one is a 3.4 fluid ounce and i paid 115 dollars for this bottle also toilets are cheaper then eau de parfums and eau de parfums are cheaper than parfums. The lighter is the lightest is the cheapest because it has the less intensity, the less amount of oil. That's really what determines like the levels of it because the oil makes it stick to your skin longer and last longer. Um, so yes, you can have one scent in a toilet and it's going to be much cheaper than paying for the same scent in a parfum. This is another fresh fruity floral and it definitely smells exactly like that, a fresh fruity floral. It has the perfect balance between the freshness, the fruitiness, the floralness. And its key notes are citron, jasmine, and teakwood. Teakwood's another one that I do really like and I also love jasmine. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely one of my one of my faves. I like this one a lot. Sorry, I'm looking at people walk by out the window. Next we have the infamous. I shouldn't say the infamous. That actually has a negative connotation. The famous, the household name of Flower Bomb. This is, this is a staple piece right here. Every woman, every woman, I don't care how old you are, you should have Flower Bomb in your collection because this is one that is very versatile. You can wear this if you're young, you can wear this if you're in your 50s and 60s, honey. Like this, this knows no age, okay? It is by Victor and Rolf. It, I'm telling you, this is just one of those timeless classic pieces. Mm. Oh, this just smells very elegant. It definitely is sexy on the skin, but it's like, it's very, I don't know and I think it's because it does not have musk I feel like that musk is what makes it gives it that sexiness to it you know what I mean makes it a little darker but this is just like super it's sweet but not childish sweet you know so I feel like this just meshes well with almost every woman and this is one of those things where like if you're wearing this out and about people are gonna stop you and recognize it like, oh that's flower bomb Flower Bomb is in the fragrance family of a sweet and warm gourmand. And that is the best way to describe it because it is definitely a very, very warm scent. The keynotes in Flower Bomb are jasmine, orange blossom, and patchouli. And if I didn't mention, I paid the same price for this bottle as I paid for the Chanel Chance. It is $115. And this is a 1.7 fluid ounce. Next, we're gonna do another one of my faves. I mean, aren't they all my faves? But, um, you know, of course you have your favorites and then you have your faves of your faves, you know? So this is a Valentino Born in Roma. As you can see, the bottle is super full because it is my second bottle. This is another one that I also have in a travel size because the ones that are my favorites are the ones that I try to make sure I have when I'm out of town. So this one, the YSL Libre, the Turquatic, those are like my, my true few. <laughs> this is a 3.4 fluid ounce and it is $130. I believe this is an Eau de Parfum. If I'm not mistaken, it doesn't say it on the bottle because, oh, yep, it does. It's an Eau de Parfum. See, I'm a little funny. This is another one. I would say, honestly, this is like a more expensive, more grown version of this. And it's, it's so funny because like, honestly, the way things are bottled, the way they're presented can kind of tell you, like it's not just by coincidence. Like a lot of this stuff, you know, has, familiar scents you know what i mean but they don't smell the same i would not say that either one is a dupe for one another they just put me in the mind of each other this is another one that i would say a sugar baby will wear this is like that super girly girl but like a spoiled brat 
that's the best way to put it like that spoiled girl who just gets whatever she wants and the world revolves around her like valentino born in roma and that mac candy yum yum period like that's what i picture them to smell like <laughs> this scent is categorized as a warm floral don't smell like a lick of flowers but that's what it's categorized as <laughs> its notes are black red, jasmine grandy flower and bourbon vanilla or vanilla bourbon one of whichever one is the proper order but those are the key notes in this scent um i can definitely smell the vanilla another thing i'm not a fan of vanilla either honestly because i just i don't want to smell like cupcakes this has a very i'm actually gonna spray it because since this is a new bottle i have another bottle upstairs that i'm still working on um but it's literally like all the way down here so since i haven't sprayed it it's not like on the rim to smell See, that's how you know I haven't even used it yet. I didn't even take this off. Mm. Mm. Yeah, love it. Love it. Very sweet, very girly, demanding attention. And this is definitely one that like you wear around men and they're gonna fall at your knees. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Next we have my Tom Ford. This one is called Mandarino Diamalfi. Um, as you can see in the name Mandarino, that is Mandarin, like oranges, so it does have a very citrusy smell. Mm, like, I feel like when you smell it in the bottle, it has more of a citrus smell, but when you spray it on the body and it mixes with your body chemistry, it has more of a soapy, clean smell. But the way that it balances out together is beautiful. Um, honestly, Tom Ford has a lot of amazing perfumes, like effing fabulous and yes it's like actually the word i'm gonna not say it for the sake of the children that may be watching this and then um, my sister really loves uh is it black cherry lost cherry lost cherry it smells amazing it smells really really good i recently smelled their their new one it's like a some it's an orange bottle and i do not like it i don't like it at all i don't like that the fragrance family for this one is fresh citrus and fruits and i can definitely smell that at least the citrus part it doesn't really smell fruity to me um it would to be be more like a fresh citrusy like the fresh part i can see the citrus part i can see when i put this on the body it literally smells like clean like and then honestly just like i said about those colors and the bottles looking similar like these again don't smell anything alike but they remind me of one another as far as the fresh clean smell i think this one is a little more clean it would probably be a cross between like this mixed with the warm cotton but um this bottle is a one fluid ounce so not 1.7 just one and this is 155 dollars um but it is worth it because a little goes a long way the keynotes in this scent are mandarin oil italy or bird spearmint and jasmine so the spearmint i can certainly understand because when i think of like um at like bath and body works how they have like eucalyptus and that's kind of like minty but it smells clean at the same time like i don't know i can i clearly just really love that that really clean smell because i probably would have a million dollars if i had a dollar for every time i've used that word in this video <laughs> So next is one that I'm sure you guys all know of and probably the reason that you're watching this video. So I actually went to get the super classic Baccarat Rouge 540. I went to Saks to re-up and I was like, you know what? I really wanna like try something different, like smell some of Mason Francis Kirkjohn's different scents. But I'm like, I can't not have Baccarat in my collection. So what I did was I got um, the minis and they have a pack where you get three of these for $180. If you were to get the regular size bottle of Baccarat Rouge, um, I believe it is 3.4 fluid ounces and that would run you $300 a bottle. Even though I ended up getting a different Mason Francis Kirkjohn scent, which is the next one that I'm going to be showing you, I like to layer it. So I like to spray the Baccarat first, followed by the next scent. So Baccarat is one, another one that's like you're walking down the street, people smell it and they're like, oh, you're wearing Baccarat. Like I know when someone's wearing it. 
One thing about this particular scent, it is actually androgynous. It is a unisex fragrance, so it is for men and for women. Baccarat is kind of fruity to me, but a rich fruity. I mean, obviously, if you're paying $300 a bottle, it's not cheap perfume. The key notes in Baccarat are jasmine, saffron, ambergris, I'm missing one, and cedarwood. So those are the key notes in this scent. I have my computer here. I'm just gonna read to you quickly how they describe Baccarat. So they said a luminous and sophisticated Baccarat Rouge 540 lays on the skin like an amber floral and woody breeze, a poetic alchemy. That's the perfect way to describe it. If you ever just wanna smell like money, you wanna smell like, I woke up like this, I rolled out of bed in a pile of hundons. <laughs> get you some Baccarat, period. My next one is the one that I told you I went to go buy Baccarat and ended up falling in love with this one. This one is also by Mason Francis Kirkshawn. So this is the person who makes Baccarat Rouge. This one is called Gentle Fluidity. And unlike Baccarat Rouge, this one is specifically for women. This is a perfume, a feminine perfume. And they also do have scents that are specifically for men. And then he also offers some unisex fragrances. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab um, my laptop again to read you how they describe gentle fluidity. So it is described as flowery vanilla eau de parfum. At the heart of the fragrance is a refined floral accord and powerful vanilla facets, magnified by the luminous freshness of a musky, woody note. <laughs> so last, but certainly not least, we have my newest baby. This is Elle de Absence by Louis Vuitton. As you can see, I have my name engraved at the bottom. Um, I love the top. It's got the signature LB and it also has a magnetic top, which I think is so cool. I love magnetic tops on perfumes. <laughs> this one is probably the most floral smelling that I have in my collection. It does not smell like a bouquet of flowers, but it is, um, the, the flowery scent does overpower a lot of the other key notes. Obviously not too much if I like it, so. <laughs> I would personally say that this is a more rich version of the Chanel Chance. And I don't mean rich just because it costs more money. I mean rich as in when I envision who I see wearing these scents. I really try to like put it into that kind of perspective because I think it really helps you get an idea of like how it smells. Um, they both are, this is definitely very girly and soft. I would say this one doesn't have that sexiness in it. I shouldn't say that because it definitely smells sexy but it's not like it's just still very soft it's like super super feminine just like i say about this one but it smells grown and it smells like you come from wealth honey this bottle is 3.4 fluid ounces and it retails for 265 dollars but the cool thing about louis vuitton perfumes and colognes is that they are refillable so once you are out of this, you can take it back to your Louis Vuitton store and as long as they have a refill station, you can go in and refill them for $170. So once you pay the $265, you never have to pay that price again as long as you keep your bottle. Which is why I saw the significance in getting it engraved. It's like if I'm gonna keep the same bottle forever, might as well put my name on it. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down while we chat. So the key notes in that Il de Absence by Louis Vuitton are rose, sandalwood, musk, balsam of Peru. I feel like I'm missing some. Jasmine and mimosa. And that concludes my collection of my favorite scents. I had so much fun filming this video. I had so much fun talking about it because I yap about all this stuff about what notes are in the perfumes and stuff like that to people who could give a rat's ass. So <laughs> it was nice to be able to sit down and talk about all of the things that excite me. Also, while you are here, of course, I had to show you my aroma bar. So this is called an aroma bar. It is completely custom made. It does have rotating a rotating platform um, none of your fragrances are gonna fall off I wanted mine to be like as girly as I am so I don't want to drop this it's like a baby pink uh oh 
a baby pink and it's got um it's like bedazzled on the um on not the platform the base and then i have like a fur trimming around here of like boa and then you can't see but the actual platform underneath all of these fragrances is a pink glitter so i literally love this thing I'm about to drop my perfumes it's over a thousand dollars worth of fragrances right there girl the instagram is shop dot arrow bar i'll put the name somewhere in here and um the website is not up at the moment um still being worked on so you can dm any interest that you have in the purchases it's again completely customizable so whatever colors you want they have like different styles um on the instagram page and for now, I think you can just DM whatever it is that you're interested in getting. You can refer my name, Zoe101, for some discount codes. They start at $75 for the ones that rotate. The ones that don't rotate are $65 for starting prices. You know, certain add-ons may cost more. But thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Thanks for supporting me. I love you guys so much. And again, I had so much fun filming this video. Please let me know if you are interested in me doing a male version of this. I obviously do not personally have a cologne collection, <laughs> but I do know what to shop for and I can tell you where to get the best fragrances for men. That is my favorite gift to give to people, colognes and perfumes, because obviously it's something I like. I think it's a thoughtful gift and you can never go wrong with it. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, if you would like me to even drop some gems about where you can find some high-end perfumes at discounted prices, all of that, just let me know what you guys want to see and what you are expecting from me and I will be sure to get those videos out to you guys. So thank you again. Thank you a million. I love you guys so much. Mwah! And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!